can see, nice and soft. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for all that have subscribed. Today we're going to be making some cocoa bread. So I know cocoa bread is traditionally eaten with beef patty, but you can eat it with anything really and it's still so delicious. And I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps just to make this delicious recipe and it's nice and easy. I've got three and a half cups of all-purpose flour a half a cup of sugar, two packs of active dry yeast, a teaspoon of salt. This is a cup and a half of coconut milk. Coconut milk is a must because that's really the essence of cocoa bread. And then I got a half of cup of coconut flakes. This is optional. This is just my take on the cocoa bread. I just want some fresh um, coconut flakes in there just to give it a nice coconut flavor and then I have four tablespoons of butter but we're also going to melt this down as well so the first thing we're going to do is just sift our flour into our bowl because we're going to mix the dry ingredients together first and leave the wet ingredients to the side so I'm slowly going to sift just like this in a strainer, so we get all of those chunky parts out of it. The next thing we're going to do is add our two packets of active dry yeast. This packet number one. Next, we're going to put our sugar in. This is a half a cup of sugar. And here's our coconut flakes. Mix this around in the bowl. Mm -hmm. So we have all of our dry ingredients mixed together in one bowl. And what we're going to do now is mix the wet ingredients together. Now here's a tip that I wanna let you guys know. This milk has to be warm. Not hot, but very lukewarm. Because the problem is, if your milk is too hot, it will deactivate your yeast, okay? So I warm this up in the microwave for about 20 seconds, and it should not be hotter than 115 degrees. If you have a thermometer, you can use or you can just test it out with your finger. So what I'm going to do is melt half of this in the microwave, come right back. So what I'm doing now is just adding our two tablespoons of butter to the milk. waiting for us over here this is gonna be so good okay so what I'm going to do now is slowly add our mixture in you can smell it already it smells so good all I smell is coconut milk and coconut flakes coconut everything so we're just going to mix this until our dough becomes a firm ball. And then I'll show you what to do next. I like being makes the noise. Okay, so my mound is a little wet. I'm going to dust some flour on top. May I do some? Yeah. May I do some too? Mm -hmm. So here I have the other two tablespoons of butter left over and what I'm going to do is just grease this bowl because we're going to put our mound back inside this bowl. We're going to cover it with a damp paper towel and allow the yeast to rise.
Okay, so now that our dough is rising, I'm going to flour my board and we're going to knead the flour. So here we go. Look at this mound, it looked like it have a life of its own. Every time I turn it, it just moves. That's the active yeast in it. So what you wanna do is continue to flour your board. Never let the flour go away. Because once you do that, your mound will end up sticky. So keep flouring that board. So now what we're going to do is cut these into mounds and then roll them, roll it, roll it. Okay. As you can see, I'm just cutting them just like this. And then I'm rolling them into mounds. We're gonna get our rolling pin and roll them all. Roll them all out and I'll show you how to flip them. Make sure you flour your rolling pin as well or else it'll stick. So flour that rolling pin. So here it is all rolled out and what we're going to do is brush the inside with butter And we're going to fold it just like this. More butter. And then fold it again. There you are. So we just fold it twice. We rolled it all the way out, brushed it with butter. We folded it in half, brushed it with butter, and then folded it in half again. So that's gonna sit there while we do the rest. As you can see, I've rolled it out. You can still see the coconut flakes inside. This one is a little small. I'll probably end up giving that to the kids. And then I'll make some larger ones so that we can make them for sandwiches. So this here is a longer one. Brushing it. And the key to this is make sure your hands are not too cold. Your hands have to be at room temperature or else your cold hands will start to make everything all sticky and your dough won't rise as well. So make sure your hands are lukewarm or at room temperature and dry as well. Your hands have to be dry. If your hands are not dry and they're wet, you're going to stick everything to the dough. So we're going to fold it. Rub some more butter. You can use as much or as little as you like, but the more butter, the better. And then I'm going to fold it again. There you go. So I've got a Pyrex here that I just greased with some butter. Here's my mounds. I'm gonna put the first bread on. And then I'm gonna put this second mini bread. I know my son is gonna love these mini cocoa breads. These ones I'm gonna turn into sandwiches. And before we put it in the oven, 
we're going to give all of them another light coating of butter. So before we put these in the oven, one last time, I'm just going over these with some melted butter. I have some big, I have some small. That way you can have a lot or a little bit. Okay, there we go. Our oven is preset to 350 degrees and now it's time to put these in. Oh my God, you guys, this is it. Fresh out the oven. Yummy. It looks yummy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely yummy. Smells nice and good, right? I can't wait for these to cool so we can try it. Just a tip, I did brush some extra butter on top halfway through the process because the top was just looking a little dry. And when it came, when it came out of the oven, I did brush some butter on top as well. You can see the coconut flakes inside. See it there and there. Mm, these smell amazing. As you can see, the coconut flakes are in there. It's nice and soft. 